What a strange attire! I don't know where you come from with these hellish clothes, but there's going to be fireworks. Here, you're not going to pinch my customers, are you? You like it? It's secret service of Kajil. Pure latex, totally free of animal fats. Yours if you help me to pass unnoticed. I have a customer who will soon be here. A real moron from Brazil. These clothes might well be just the thing. Here comes our beautiful traveller. You don't recognize the Louvre, I'll bet. How oh, science threatens the old necromancy. They take me for a freak. Hardly anybody listens to me these days. Materialism and money have taken over the world. Here there remains only the last of the artists, scientists and aristocrats. The court has left. Politics and secret societies rule everywhere. Masons, Rosicrucian Brotherhood, and goodness knows what else. You will need help. Try to gain the favor of the Marchioness von Schoenhausen. As a society woman, she knows the upper crust in this madhouse. Oh, wait, somewhere here I have a precious necklace. A good bargaining tool with the old flirt. Many thanks, you old dear. You and your two ancestors have been a great help. Well, you will have a family likeness. Yes, we are all Anselm's descendants. And I am Anselm himself, who knows? Here, my child, here is a new Kabbalistic incantation. It is powerful, and it awakens dark forces. You will need it, for strange things are happening here.
Do you have some spare change by any chance? I'll sing for you! You won't be sorry. It's called Him the Whores. Yes, harlots and whores, I love all the more. Cuddles they give me one, two, but not three. Cause my little club ain't made out of wood, and when they're what a horrible racket! I'm going to stop that row right away! You can't pull the wool over my eyes. I'm not the sort of person who mistakes a hen for a cock. Would my young servant be a young lady by any chance? It's crisis time amongst the minions. Yesterday a maid, today a manservant, and in two or three centuries the saviour of mankind. Madam, help me. I want to see the Marquis de Nemours. Nemours? Oh, my dear, it's very simple. He adores music. Play him a little tune from Bastien et Bastien, for example. It's an opera by young Mozart. Fourteen years old when he wrote it, how very clever. That'll bring him out of his hideaway, the old bear. He lives right here, but believe me, he also adores women. I know what I'm talking about. <sighs> Find some pretty clothes and he'll lose his head to you. He loses it so easily. Here, take this key to a cupboard where I've left a few dresses. Not so long ago, he was sniffing at them as if they smelled of honey. Charming. 
Celestial music played by an angel. Such harmony. Few know its value. Who are you? Sublime Marquis, it's enough for you to know that my adoptive lodge sends me to look for an Assyrian statuette. Pazuzu, the demon of the wind. You know Mesopotamia since you've been on an expedition there. Tell me what you know, brother. Hmm, I see that we pursue the same goal, to find the statuette that was once lost. All right, I will help you. All that I know is written in the expedition's records that will soon be used for Diderot's encyclopedia. There you will find a picture of Pazuzu, as well as a few notes about him. Some scientists have managed to restore the statuette, but the notes of their experiences have been lost. I do not know how this could have happened. I have often talked about it with Jerome Delahaye, the sculptor who lives on the ground floor of the large gallery. Go and ask his advice. We belong to the same lodge. And then tell me your findings. Au revoir. Thank you. 
My name is Duplessis. Joseph to all pretty ladies. Excuse me, I'm late. My paintings are not yet ready for the exhibition, and the brushes do not paint by themselves. Good day to you, Your Grace. Do you want to buy some of my work, or do you want to model for me? Hello, brother. The Lodge of the Nine Sisters has sent me, and I have a letter of introduction from Monsieur de Nemours. I need you to make a mold for a statuette. Very well. Do you have a drawing I could use as a model? But first, my dear, you can also help me. I'm desperate to have a portrait by Christophe Allegrain that's on view in the square drawing room, but I can't afford to buy it. If you bring it to me, I will make your mold very quickly. Ah, that portrait would be even more beautiful if it included the Masonic symbols, the chisel and the mallet. As a sculptor, I'm very fond of them. You again! You're more beautiful than Rubens' models. If I wasn't so busy, I'd gladly show you some of my favorite strokes. We can talk about it. I quite like the picture of Christophe Algrin, but it is missing two small details. Would it be possible to paint in a chisel and mallet, Joseph? But how can I refuse you anything, dear angel? Bring me the picture and you will see the kind of hand I can make our old Christophe hold. Just as I wanted. Don't you think it's an allegory for a Masonic sculptor like myself? Now, let's see the drawing of Pazuzu I'll use as a model. We can now proceed. First, I must build a wax model from your drawing, then cover it with clay. This is then fired in an oven. The clay hardens as the wax melts and flows out through the small holes. We then have a mold into which we can pour the molten metal. Here is your mold, my dear. Alas, I must leave you now.
I have been observing you with interest for a while, my dear, and I am sure that you will forgive my manners, for they are worthy of you. To tell you the truth, I suspected you immediately. You are interested in Puzzle Zoom? I can't wait to hear what you have learnt. Go and finish your researches, and we will continue our little talk. Beware. If you try to deceive me, you will be sorry. Oh!